I went to school in Winston-Salem for eight years, and during that time I had the uh, privilege and opportunity to come out and spend a lot of time in the Blue Ridge area. Uh, spent time all the way up in Boone, all the way out to Asheville, going hiking, spending time outdoors, uh, going whitewater rafting, uh, fraternity events uh, in, in the area. And I, I'd always said to myself, I would love to retire out here. And uh, so when I got to the point, decision point with my family that we had decided that I was going to be separating from the military after six years of active service, we decided, okay, we need to find out where we're going to live. Uh, and so we started deciding that we wanted to be in the southeast uh, and we started looking for jobs in the area and this job came out he up here and immediately uh, even just getting off the phone with the recruiter I just something told me this was kind of the right place similar to what the experience I'd had when I went to find my college I walked around the campus I, this something told me this was the right place for me and I, I've learned if nothing else over the last several years to trust your gut instincts so I came out here uh, immediately fell in love again with the area I kind of knew the area a little bit uh, the beauty here is just unbelievable. It's really un unsurpassed. I do believe it's God's country, as they say. Uh, and uh, just the people here, spending some time in the community, um, just amazing. The people, I, I really, the salt of the earth, or you know, people who just work hard to do the right thing and do right by people. And that's kind of the person I'd like to imagine myself as being, is at the end of the day, do the right thing for people and, and hopefully help people out along their way. And I just felt like, um, what my family and I wanted out of life in terms of a quality of life, not necessarily a quantity of life, uh, it was to be found here. Uh, a sense of community, giving back to the community, uh, being involved in the community, uh, people are uh, church going, uh, all of these types of things that w were important to us, uh, I, we found that in this community area here. And so we are very blessed, very pleased and privileged to be able to be, uh, become part of this community. Uh, I am definitely one of those individuals who, uh, growing up and throughout uh, medical school and college, is, is I like a good challenge, uh, and uh, I can tend to get a bit bored a little bit at times if I'm not continuously challenged. And I, just like orthopedics, is a wide variety of shapes and sizes, areas of the body, uh, things that constantly keep you on your toes, uh, sports aspects, trauma, tumor, all these different variations of, of healthcare. Uh, is what attracted me to orthopedics to begin with. And within orthopedic surgery, spine surgery is, uh, is almost a unique field in and of itself, somewhat separate from the rest of orthopedics in the sense of that uh, it is very specialized dealing with the spinal cord, nerve roots, uh, tumors of the spine. Uh, I found this a daily challenge. I continue to find it a daily challenge. And I think if I ever get bored or complacent with spine surgery, then there's something wrong. I must have taken a bump to the head uh, because uh, it is a constant challenge, it's forever humbling, uh, and, it, and I, I'm just really fascinated by all the development going on in this area. The, if you look at the news, and most of the, the big news in, in medicine right now is on the spine and the neck and degenerative disc disease and conditions, how to prevent uh, these conditions that people end up having lots of surgeries and, and varying results with. So it is uh, at the forefront of medicine truly right now. Uh, it's an exciting place to be uh, working with spine surgery.